Let me check if... Oh, wow. Amoy, amoy toyo talaga, guys. Amoy. Hello, welcome to another video here on my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Iris Jane, and thank you for clicking this video. I hope you like it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. Today is our second day ng stay at home video. So, yeah, today is a good day. So, I'm planning to go out and do some yard work. Okay. Backyard. Um, let me check if. Oh, wow. Weeks ago, or after we came back from. After we came back from Tennessee, I found out that I have some um, sprouts on my indoor plant or in my indoor plant. And um, they are. Cantaloupe. So, because one time I I transplanted some of my indoor plants and I recycled the soil that I used before back when we were in other house and uh, there were some seeds that were left in that soil and fortunately it grew back again so yeah uh, I transplanted it out here actually the other one died but yeah just threw away some of the tomato seeds one time those small ones right there see that those are actually tomato seeds tomato so I just like threw it out and now uh, they hope for the best and now they're getting bigger so yeah hopefully they will continue to grow if you are married to a filipina you know that she is up to something when she's tying her hair up like this but you know exactly that it won't stay this way for a long time so today what i'm gonna do is to just clean up the yard basically kenny really wants to help us but he's not feeling well because pollen count right now it's extremely high and he is really allergic to that so it's all right Since we live here in Texas, we are just being very, very hopeful that this plant will actually grow and survive. Because when summer comes, ah, good luck. Ang hirap kasi dito. Mas mabilis mabuhay yung mga damul. Kasi dun sa talagang may pakinabang na halaman na yun. Ang hirap maghintay. Acorn na tumubo na hindi na-connect namin before nag 
ulan. So, kailangan natin tanggalin to. Although, pagka naman um, dumating yung mag magka-cut ng lawn, maratanggal naman sila. However, uh, baka matagal pa. So, yeah, we have to do this. So, for today, ito muna yung part na linisin natin. Kasi yan yung, yung naiwan namin na um, part ng flower bed. So, so first thing we need to do is to pull out the weeds and acorn that grew in the flower bed. It's kind of difficult to actually pull them out because our flower beds here normally have net. Like I think that's used for protection. And the squirrels are really working hard to bring all the acorns that they collected. And of course the weather seems to be in their favor so it is what it is. So other than the weather, another reason make this bin full what we're gonna do is just wait for it to be collected and then we can resume doing the yard if you are curious if you want to put some flowering in our flower bed absolutely but right now I don't think we can do it unless we're done with the bush and all the dried leaves in the flower bed our priority right now is to actually get rid of all the weeds and those acorn that are just sitting on our yard As you have noticed, there are still people walking around the neighborhood. They can do jogging, biking, walking, but parks are now closed. They are not supposed to be going there because those are the places where people normally gather. So they are trying to minimize the use of those public places. Hello guys! I just finished lunch. It's already 4 p.m. in the after uh, obviously in the afternoon <laughs> and hindi ko na napakita sa inyo yung uh, ganap dun kanina kasi nalobot na yung camera pero it wasn't totally or it wasn't completely done and napunong natin kasi yung trash bin namin so siguro after Wednesday na lang ulit or I might be able to you know collect or make a pile and then sa ko na lang ulit siya um ikupup ilalagay sa trash bin but yeah ipakita ko sa inyo guys amoy to yo Ang kalahin mo yung nakaroto ng toyo. 
patuyo kaya talaga yun baka na patay na tata <laughs> um, so ewan ko kung napakita ko sa inyo kanina kung ano yung itura niya bago ko nalinis but yan ang daming um, mga dried leaves doon and tsaka doon sa ilalim and doon so lahat yan natanggal ko na and binunod ko na din yung ibang mga um, tumubong mga uh, hindi dapat tumubong Sinang kami dalawang oak tree dito sa ba harap ng bahay namin and um, during winter talagang ano siya hindi magkamayaw yung ano mga eko so makikita nyo dyan napunong-punong para grabe siya ng eko so kailangan talagang punutin tulad nito um and it's very satisfying pagka yun ay pak pagka nabunod mo siya nakasama yung mismo ng acorn kasi itong mga um hindi ko mabunot ito ko sa inyo just me wala palapit na hap there you go yan yung ano mga Um, squirrel um, pinabalata nila yung acorn Dito na yan. parang ganyan gita nyo ba yan pinabalata nila tapos yung minsan pag nasa itaas sila ng puno malalaglag yung acorn tapos yun tutubo na sila like this one this one diba? ganyan ginagawa ng mga squirrel so yun anyway um yun na muna yun na muna ang yun na muna yung ganap and siguro by tomorrow, I don't know kasi meron pa tayong kailangan linisin ito kailangan pa din yung linisin eh tapos kailangan din namin i-dream yung aming bush but yeah amoy, amoy tuyo talaga guys amoy tuyo talaga kaya ga ang tutututong ang tuyo Kainis naman. Kama na. Guys, katapos ko lang maligo. And, what's this? And, chill-chill muna tayo. It's only 4pm. Bilis pang oras, no? Alauna pa lang ngayon. Alasin ko lang. Anyway, chill-chill muna tayo. And... Pero yun guys, nag-automatic nang mag, ano, translate yung mga post ng mga kaibigan ko or na, mga Facebook friends ko. Automatic na siyang English. Na, ano ko tuloy? Namimiss ko tuloy yung um, tawag dito. Yung um, fun part. Kasi English na. Parang kailangan pa, parang pag binabasa ko parang hindi na nakakatawa. Pero pag tinagalog mo nakakatawa. Kaya pala yung mga ano, mga mister na in-explainan mo ng mga joke sa Tagalog. Sagot na sila, hmm, kasi hindi na lang nag-gets. Wala, wala talaga ng katorya-torya. <laughs> katorya-torya. Tagalog ba yung katorya-torya? O ano? Pisaya. Hindi ko alam kung Tagalog ba yun o ano. Hindi ko alam. At, kung hindi nyo nag-gets, ano, ang ibig sabihin nun ay wale. Parang ano, ligwak yung joke. <laughs> Kasi nanay ko, taga-samar. So, may mga words akong nagagamit na hindi ko, I'm not aware of na ano, hindi pala Tagalog. You know, parang, kasi nakakaintindi ako ng kahit, kahit pa paano, ng kaunting bisaya or waray. So, kaya minsan may mga words na nagagamit ako na hindi ko 
hindi ko alam na hindi pala yung Tagalog. Isa pala yung sinanay ko pala. Sinanay ko pala yung nagpunta. <laughs> anyway guys, nakita nyo naman yung day 2 ng ating stay at home. So, uh, by the way, I would just like to clarify na hindi lang kami ngayon nag-start na mag-stay at home. We've been staying at home for probably more than a week now. We're trying our best to stay at home. And although yung mga tao dito, they can still go out. But if you are going to the grocery store and things like that, um, try to be cautious and you know magingat pa rin palagi yung mga restaurant dito they are not accepting dine in anymore so you can order drive through and yun i don't know kung nag-operate pa rin yung mga deliveries nila or you know but yeah yun na muna yung vlog and i hope you guys like it and um like I said, I'm doing this para ma-encourage din kayo na may mga pwede pa namang magawa at home. Be safe and let's all hope and pray that this will come to, this situation right now will come to an end. So, I'll see you guys next time. Magasuklay-suklay muna ako. Bye guys!